And Cueto fires a strike on the inside corner at 640. <laughs> so the first game after the NL East clinch looks a from Johnny Cueto. A lot of missed top leg and trying to use anything he can on the season. He is the first in Major League Baseball this year to hit that mark. Freddie Freeman is at one. Uh, and that one's going to be well pushed. And Atlanta has two on. You say it almost nightly, but you want to be in your seats the minute this offense comes up. Get this one. The Braves have outscored the Marlins this year 83 to 29. Austin Riley takes it inside 2-0. With his 35th homer of the season in the first inning. Here he's got a two ball, one strike. I would think there's something too, Peter, for the Braves now. Yes. Full count to Austin. The pressure's off now. Obviously, there's a lot. Swing and a miss. Cueto gets Riley at the top of the zone. The Braves nominee for the award, the Roberto Clemente Award. He is wearing that number two. National League Player of the Week, Matt Olson, right back to the mound. They will not be always at second. Play from Johnny to get the out at second base. Matt on. Here, though, is taken by Wendell, and that'll do it. The Braves get two. Then by your local Toyota dealer, Luis Arise, leading me. Two road starts versus the NL East. 14 innings, no runs, 12. And he has enjoyed facing Miami. I got a piece of Arise. Looks like a changeup. Oh. Right in the gut. Right in the gut. <laughs> Freeman hitting 337. He was for a long time hitting. Takes that one down and in a ball and two strikes. Of course, had a pre. That ball is well struck. Puts on the home run stroke. And now Josh Bell, who was traded at the deadline. Nothing he can't bounce back from. And certainly nothing this Atlanta lineup cannot bounce back from. Just missed. Home plate up it at first base. Three and two. Good pitch by Elder. Got it by Josh Bell for the first down. Line from Cleveland. This is another guy that came over at the deadline. Jake Berger. He was with the White. Of the Braves and the Marlins. Like, we know what has happened, and that's tough to get over. You know because. Yeah, I would think for Miami that. Bryce is 2-2, and the count goes full. Oh. And up double. Just missed a homer. Knee discomfort. But he said he was feeling good when he got to the park today. Just one that talk about the knees. I always remember. Swing and a miss. So two strikeouts here. The first. first. But Berger's going to know that barely got into the outfield. May have noticed no Jorge. Runner breaks for second. Trap. And roll all the way. To it's three to nothing. Sanchez has three. I'm not looking to make excuses for here until to the hotel until 3.30 in the morning. Now, it did have the off day yesterday for Atlanta. See if Bryce can do the same. Seventh in the order. Over, and he's there. But the Marlins strike first. There's a span of 24 games. Eddie is hitting 361 with 20 driven in. Eddie also wears number 21 tonight. He and Joe Jimenez as well, who normally wears number 70. 
as one of the deliveries that for Cueto. But it's in the mid of De La Cruz. Into Travis Dardo, 1 0. Dean with the Giants. Travis Dardo. A skyscraping fly ball out to De La Cruz. It was a hot and humid day today in South Florida. There were also some showers and storms in the area this evening. Look at the faces of the guys that are having a see. This game in its simplest form when it comes to pitching and hitting. Well, he got him upstairs. A one, two, three top of the hit. See if he can settle down here in the second. Two and oh to Jacob. Lone Depot Park. This is about tip when the World Baseball Classic was here. The gap in right center. And Stallings into second base. McBug. Going back into the outfield turf, and he will take it. And even in that gap between her last inning, Travis blocked it, and the runner stays put. Ball to Ozzie. It does move stop third, but there are two. So when I leave in a couple of innings to use the facilities, I'm by myself. Oh, Depot Park. Josh Bell swinging a miss, one and one. What percentage of? <laughs> Good block by Travis. And he gets a piece to stay yeah. up. He looked. Jake Berger, who doubled off. He lines a single to left. Nothing, Miami. Well, that's a tough lick. But now he's two for two with a double and an RBI single. Called strike this time, and Jazz is down again. One swing. Hold it. And it's. And Atlanta's on the board. Well, Pop. So now four to one after Michael's 17th of the season. Braves just continuing to have everybody produce, everybody hit. Ronald has 37 of them. And with all the long balls Atlanta hits, let's see if the Braves can, can. Edwards, and he has done it. Ronald is two for two. And you saw Cueto's reaction. And what else can I do to get this guy out? We've seen that reaction. The pitch for Johnny Cueto is way inside. He's going. Grounded to first, but that worked out okay. Since he started his wheels, here's his 1-0 pitch. Ronald's coming around. Out of the plate. Great speed, great. Olsen. It's down. Off turn at second, but he. That one came in and hit. And the bases are loaded now. Greg to the mound. This one is in foul ground and it's caught by Stallings. 